Hi my friends, welcome to the channel English Professionally and we continue this playlist English Grammar from Zero Lesson 17 Really, it's a very important grammar if you're really serious about improving it a lot, okay? And let's revise everything, okay? For example, look at this sentence He wants to be a businessman So don't forget that we put s after a verb if it's he, she, it he wants to be a businessman if it's a negative form we use don't or doesn't with a verb look he doesn't want to be a businessman and if you want to form a question you use it with does does he want to be a businessman Okay, look. They have their own business. How will you make a negative form? So you put don't before have. Because of they. They don't. They don't have their own business. And if you want to ask a question, you will ask it with do. Do they? Do they have their own business. You know, this exercise is very useful, so you can, you know, you know, choose one sentence and then you can make a negative form and you can also ask a question. If it's very important, if you want to do it, you know, very quickly and almost automatically. Why almost? Not almost, really, automatically, without any pauses, breaks or intervals very quickly, almost immediately. Okay, so let's have more practice. My brother waits for it. So my brother means he. That's why we need to say waits, wait for. My brother waits for it. My brother doesn't wait for it. And does my brother wait for it? My sister loves him. So she loves he, she, it. If we have he, she, it, we add s. My sister loves him. Okay, so you also need to remember when we use him, his, and so on. Okay? So my sister doesn't love him. So doesn't. And so we use does in questions. Does my sister love him? Okay, so. There are some more tips for you. Look, my teacher remembers everything. So if it's one word, we normally say everything. If you have uh, something more, for example, we have a noun or a phrase, we use all. All these things, all these facts, all the information. For example, my teacher remembers all these facts, or all the facts, all the information. It's a very important rule, okay? My teacher doesn't remember everything. So, doesn't because my teacher means he or she. And does my teacher remember everything? Good. My boss forgets these things, s. And doesn't in a negative form. My boss doesn't forget these things. Does my boss forget these things? So, you see, it's a question. So, we need to use does, because my boss means he. Okay, next. The company offers us new workers. The company means it, so we add s. The company offers us new workers. Negative form. The company doesn't offer us new workers. And... Does the company offer us new workers? So, you see, so if you look at the statement, so you need to remember, so when we use S and when we don't use S, if you look um, at this negative form, so you start, you know, thinking about don't or doesn't, when to use it. And so, uh, if you are going to ask a question, so you need to choose between do and does, okay? Well, so the book seems very useful. The book doesn't seem very useful. 
does the book seem very useful? OK. Next, my ticket includes it. So my ticket means it, so includes. My ticket includes it. My ticket doesn't include it. And does my ticket include it? The lesson start very early. So you know that you can say start or begin. Begin sounds more formal. So the lesson start very early. Start because the lessons mean, yeah, it means they. The lessons, so it's they, they start, so the lessons start very early. The lessons don't start very early. And the question, do the lessons start very early? Okay, really, it's a good idea. For example, you can, you know, uh, make up your own sentence. You can write it and then try to make a negative form and try to ask a question. Or you can uh, take this or that sentence maybe from your book or <laughs> from somewhere else. So it's a good practice. Okay, so I have prepared, you know, more exercises, especially for you, so that you can understand how it really works. And believe me, this method is really effective, you know, to speak English correctly and automatically. Good. Okay, so this result seems very good. This result doesn't seem very good. Does this result seem very good? These results seem very good. So you see, this result means it. So that's why we add s. These results, yeah, it means they. That's why we don't use s. We don't add s. These results seem very good. These results don't seem very good. Do these results seem very good? The results seem very good. Yeah, don't forget to use, I mean, this article. So if you say results seem very good, so, you know, it's so abstract. So it means all the results in the world but I'm sure you're talking about these results, or the results which you know. So the results seem good. The results don't seem good. Do the results seem good? Yeah, so you see the results, so it's plural. It means they, so no s. But if it's the result, one, if it's one singular, we add s. So if it's it, we add s. It means it. The result seems good. The result doesn't seem good. Does the result seem good? My friend has an interesting offer. My friend doesn't have an interesting offer. Does my friend have an interesting offer? So my friend, he or she, that's why we see has. Good. My friends have an interesting offer. So it was my friend, one, and my friends, so many, more than one, maybe two, three, who knows. Yeah, so it means they, they have. My friends have an interesting offer. My friends don't have an interesting offer. Do my friends have an interesting offer? My teacher says it. So my teacher, he or she. That's why we add s. My teacher says it. My teacher doesn't say it. Does my teacher say it? His parents tell him everything. His parents don't tell him everything. Do his parents tell him everything? My brother tries to learn English. My brother doesn't try to learn English. Does my brother try to learn English? 
that thing interests me then. So that thing means it. So that's why we see as. Uh, that thing interests them. That thing doesn't interest them. Does that thing interest them? Those things interest her. Those things don't interest her. Do those things interest her? Okay, good. So it's number 11. Her mother stays at home. Her, her mother means she, so her mother stays at home. Her mother doesn't stay at home. Does her mother stay at home? My best friend needs support now. He or she, that's why we use as, my best friend needs support now. My best friend doesn't need support now. Does my best friend need support now? Okay, and uh, two more examples. Or oh, three more examples, yeah? So just uh, we need to, to correct these numbers because, you know, it happens uh, by mistake. I'm terribly sorry indeed. Okay, but anyway, we need to go ahead. So he has his own business. He doesn't have his own business. Does he have his own business? You know that uh, actually we are learning English grammar, but we are also learning English words and phrases, and you'll see more and more new interesting phrases, and you know this phrase is one of these great or amazing phrases, so have uh, for example, have uh, own business. I have my own business. You have your own business. Yeah, just remember it. Our rest includes it. Our rest means it. So our rest includes it. Our rest doesn't include it. Does our rest include it? This house looks very expensive. So this house means it. This house doesn't look very expensive. Does this house look very expensive? Okay, so to sum up, so you need to know how to ask, you know, a question in present simple, but not only in question, how to make a negative form, and how to say everything you want to say in present simple, and this kind of exercise, you know, it's very useful, extremely useful. So I think it's a good idea, I mean, to have this kind of practice. But uh, we need to, um, to go on, yeah, learning English and we need to go on improving our grammar. And really, let's look at the next lesson. Thank you. Yeah, and so you see that um, our playlist, you know, it just uh, was maybe just uh, one video in the beginning, but then there were more and more and it's growing because you asked me actually to continue recording this video and uh, I decided to follow your Advice, so it's great, thank you.